How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great week. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Black Apino the Apple Guy. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the brand new iPad Mini. This is the fifth generation. I'm also going to be showing you how to set up and or restore from a previous iPad backup via iCloud. So let's get into it. As you can see here, this is my brand new iPad 5th generation iPad mini. This is, I got this in space gray and I got the 64 gig because the previous version that I had, which was a 16, I actually traded in, got some credit for and decided to get this one. Uh, yes, you can do that with Apple products depending on how old it is. Usually you can get some good credit towards it and you can actually use it for other Apple devices. I usually tend to do this with most of the Apple stuff that I own, but not all of it and um, so we're gonna get right into it um, so as you can see pretty different type of um, material versus the last stuff that I had before when I had this so I'm actually it was use a box not to kind of just kind of cut through it but as you can see it's um, pretty interesting so well looks like I might actually need my box knife so here we go. Just going to pop this open here, there, and we're gonna slice there. And as you can see, voila. Oops. Voila. This away. And here we go. Now I've had an iPad Mini before. I actually. Um, prefer the minis. I was kind of surprised that they came out with a new mini as they usually um, every time they come out with a new iPad they neglect to always come out with a new mini so I was kind of surprised that they came out with one so um, I was uh, really excited about getting one but I really wasn't sure because they redid the iPad Pros which were the AKA Airs but I decided to jump back into the mini again because I missed the mini as you can see this is the Space Gray so we're going to take it off I actually have learned that the space gray on this is actually darker than it is on other previous Apple ones that are um, space gray. So um, this is the mini, as you can see, uh, space gray. So we're going to set that right there. And um, as you can see, it will come with your typical USB-C cord. And then it's going to come with, obviously, a bunch of Apple, the Apple, uh, you know, stuff. If you ever if you ever open up an Apple box or ever bought Apple stuff, you know it's gonna come with the type of material, including the Apple sticker. So I'm gonna put that right there. So it comes with the regular power block, although this is a little bit sm it's about the same size as it normally is. So still, still the USB. So um, as you can see, that is pretty much all that there is to this. Don't see anything else. So we're going to turn this on and see if there's any power to it. Usually um, I find that there is some. So and we are going to go through the setup process. Obviously English, um, United States, uh, quick start via iPhone. So yada yada yada, bring it near this. So I could do that with my iPhone, but um, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the setup manually. But that is what Quick Start is. Basically, you can just bring your iPhone um, if you have the latest iOS, and you can just basically set it right next to it, and it automatically will upload all the stuff that you had. But we're just going to do setup manually, and we're going to do a quick setup on my Wi-Fi, and then we're going to see. We're going back to setting this up. And then after this, it's going to actually ask me if I have um, any backups that I do down in privacy. Hit continue. Um, touch ID. We'll set that up now. So it's not too hard to do this. It's a pain in the butt, but it is kind of, actually kind of fun. So obviously, you know, you just set your finger. Do it again. Do it again. And we're just going to kind of speed through this but 
figured I would do this the way in, in case anyone uses it adjust your grip and then continue so this way um, depending on how you hold your um, how you hold your iPad as you can see sideways so you want to make sure you get all your finger continue then create a passcode so it's going through this then now it's going to say restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup, set up as a new pad, or move data from an Android. So you can actually, if you have, say, you bought a previous uh, Android tablet, whether it's a Samsung or Huawei or whatever, as long as it's Android, you do have the option of actually sitting there and you can actually set up from uh, your Android to this, depending on how you do it. Um, but we're going to do this as a restore from iCloud backup instead of restoring it from an iTunes backup because I don't have the backup on my computer anymore. Actually, like I said before and previously, I have it all stored up in my iCloud. So we're going to restore from iCloud and then it's going to ask for my Apple ID. So we're just going to go into that first really quick. Now what's going to happen when you finally get your code and everything set up for it? You're going to, it'll give you an activation allowing you to sign up. So anytime you add a new Apple device, to your iTunes account is going to ask for your passcode and your email address. This is what you always use to sign into your iTunes. Whether you have an iPad, an iPhone, an Apple Watch, it's going to ask you for um, requests. So you're going to hit allow and then it's going to ask you to do the verifying code. As you can see, that's the code for that. And I basically would just enter that code into. the Apple device then as you can see that would be the code it's updating iCloud and then it's going to kind of go through all that stuff in a few minutes then it's asking to choose up my backups as you can see I've got two backups um, other backups are from my iPhone X so I will not be using that as it's for specifically for the iPhone this is for my iPad mini this is going to be for my iPad uh, 8th gen um, so honestly it doesn't matter which one I use so I'm just going to go for the iPad mini 4 then it's going to set up settings for my backups Hit continue it's going to allow me to use Siri and all that other wonderful stuff so in the background as you can see it's loading up Then we're just going to um, set up Apple Pay later on. Let me just set it up right now. Apple Analytics, yes. Um, True Tone, yes. Add it to your iPad. And then as you can see, it restores it. It shuts off. Then it will come back on. During much, so we're just going to be enabling um, the passcode for this. And as you can see, it is uploading pretty much all the videos and apps that I had previously backed up on my uh, previous iPad mini 4 and that is pretty much all there is to it obviously it's not going to be coming with the latest update so if there is an update that needs to be done you basically once it's done you go into there you tap on this and then it's going to ask you for finishing your settings and then once you're done it's going to say finish settings for your iPad you click on that and then um, set up Apple Pay and all that so if there's anything that you haven't done you'll get a notification that way so as you can see it's just basically going to be doing that and if you have any passwords that you have to set then it's going to ask you for that until you get that done so once you're done with that that's pretty much it so that is how you set up an iPad mini um, thanks for watching my video if this was helpful please hit that thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel um, hit the bell notification that way you'll never miss content when I drop it thanks for watching and have a good day